Good morning, beloveds. You know, today's scripture is one of my favorite scriptures in the whole Bible. Today's scripture is about Shifra and Pua, these two incredible women who took care of and protected new life and new beginnings. They're really wonderful characters, and we have a lot to learn from them. And you know, we at church, we've been thinking about each of you a lot and offering each of you prayers because we know that you have been at a time of a new beginning as well because your school year has just started or is about to begin and that's a really important time in your life and especially at this moment in our world where things are really different than we're used to. So we have a lot of new beginnings that we want to take care of together and love and nurture. So I want to invite us into a practice, uh, something to help us take care of these new beginnings with one another. So you need a few things to do that. I'm going to share with you what those are and then you can pause your video to get the materials. So you need a pen of some kind, a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, it doesn't have to be very big, and I'm using a piece of old wrapping paper. Um, if you have something like that, that's a little bit thicker than just a regular piece of paper, that would be good. And the last thing you need is some kind of container of water. And you want it to have enough room for a little bit of movement, so not a really small bowl. So that's all you need for this practice. I invite you to pause the video, and if you need to find somebody in your household to help you with this, you can go get them now too. And welcome back, if you needed to leave. So I want us to just take our piece of paper first, and like Shipper and Pua, we are going to imagine this piece of paper, this is going to hold our new beginnings. So this is really precious to us. And if you want to just cut, if you haven't already, you or somebody in your household who can help you to just cut the piece of paper into a, a medium-sized square, just a couple inches. That would be wonderful. And once you have your piece of paper cut, you can fold it in half. You've got to fold it in half. And then fold it one more time. And now it's like a little book. You've got a little square. Now, taking the piece of paper, you see this edge? This is the folded edge. So that's like your book crease. I'm going to invite you to get your scissors or have somebody help you cut. And cut along the folded edge to the other opposite corner. So folded edge, and then you're going to cut up. And we're going to cut in kind of a circle shape we're making a flower petal. So you're just going to cut like this and not all the way to the corner. So you're going to cut see how you have kind of a rounded edge? Now I want you to flip it and go up from that corner and cut up but make sure you don't cut all of the folded section because we need these pieces of paper to stay together. So you can just leave like a centimeter or so. Here, I'll show you. See how you have like a, an edge, a line here? You want to make sure you have that. So there's your, your petals. This is part of our new creation, our new beginnings. So now I want you to unfold it. And do you have a flower? So I just want to take a moment to think about this new beginning that you're on, your new school year. What are some hopes that you have for this year? What are some things you, you hope happen, you hope for yourself, your community? And to write those down on the inside of your petals. These are our hopes for our new beginnings. So I hope, I hope that all of our learning has joy in it. So I'm going to write 
Let me write that hope. And I hope that we have time to slow down. And to build relationships. And to dream out loud. You can just write down anything that you hope for for your school year. These are all those new beginnings that Shifra and Pua and that each of us are a part of protecting and caring for. And one way that we can protect them and care for them is we can just start to take these petals and just fold them in. And every petal that you fold, just imagine that. That's love and care and safety and rest. All of that is holding all of your new beginnings. All of our new beginnings are held now in these precious petals. Something else that I'm reminded of when I think about Shifra and Pua and all of the protection that they offered to these new beginnings was that one of the things they understood about protection is that we protect so that all of this new newness can grow and can blossom and become all that it wants to be, all that God called it to be. That's one of the reasons we protect all these dreams. So now I want you to just get your piece, of, your bowl of water, right? And we know that water is life and a beautiful part of creation that, that cares for us. I want you to take, take all of your new beginnings, all of those things that we're holding dearly, to place it in the water. And can you see, what does it feel like to watch all of those hopes begin to blossom, to open up, and to be a part of this world unfolding? That is our prayer for all of you, for each of us in these times is that all of our dreams and our hopes would blossom in this world. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Creator, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.